To balance this equation, we have lead 4 oxide, and it's decomposing. It's breaking apart into lead 2 oxide and then this oxygen gas here. So let's count the atoms up and balance the equation. We have on the reactant side, we have lead, just one of those, and then two oxygens. On the product side, we have one lead and then one oxygen. But don't forget, we have these two oxygens out here. One plus two, that gives us three. Why don't we get this to be an even number when I have an odd number like this? I like to get it even by multiplying by 2 here. So we have 1 lead times 2. That gives us 2 leads. But let's update these numbers here since the 2, it applies to everything. So now I have 1 times 2. There's 2 oxygens plus these 2 oxygens here. Now I have 4 oxygens. So I can work with that because I can get this oxygen to be 4 by putting a 2 in front of the PbO2. That'll also balance the lead atoms, the Pb atoms. So we have 2 times 2. That'll give us 4 oxygens. Those are balanced. And 1 times 2. That'll give us 2 lead atoms. And we're done. This equation is balanced. So two things. First, make sure you count all the oxygens here on the product side. And then if you have an odd number, like we had 3, get that to be an even number. And that'll make the balancing a lot easier. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for the decomposition of PbO2, lead 4 oxide. Thanks for watching.